Oh my God, it looks... Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. Now today we're gonna to be fitting something quite special to this Defender 110 behind me and it's the first time I've done it and it's gonna be uh, an interesting one. So make sure you stay tuned. Um, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please comment um, what you wanna see and let's have some fun. Okay guys, so behind me is the test mule for this and we are fitting a Defender 110 panoramic glass roof over the second row seats. Now behind me is the kit on the floor. Let's have a look. In this rather large box, which is falling to pieces, <coughs> I have, oh yeah, I put the frame on the roof. I have a frame, which is gonna be sitting somewhere around there. And I have our double glazed, toughened, laminated glass roof. Now this is double glazed because if we had single glazed, it would do the typical Defender stuff of uh, attracting condensation during winter months and leaking all over the nice interior. So we've gone for the more expensive, the double glazed version, and this is gonna be the process of how to fit it. First step for me doing this is gonna be, uh, I've never fitted one before, so this is gonna be an interesting process, but it won't leave until it is absolutely perfect. Now. The uh, headlining is going to have to come down. We're also going to wrap all the headlinings um, in black suede because they're like that plastic PVC nylon stuff which came from Land Rover. And we've got to cut it anyway, so it's just nice to complete the job with a bit of privacy glass, black suede. Um, it's going to be looking 10 years newer and a lot fresher inside. First step is going to be me removing the middle headlining and then I can either do the front or rear. To do the job, I don't actually need to remove the front or the rear headlining. Um, but we're covering them in suede anyway, and it would give me some good reference points is because you've got the bracing for the roofs. So we're going to take down all the headlinings, um, put them all to one side. Time for us to remove the middle headlining, and that will allow us to remove the rear headlining and the front headlining. Okay guys, with all the headlinings removed, the wiring harness down, whoop, wiring harness down, it's now time to drill our first markings and then we can clamp on the roof, do all our measurements, actually cut the roof out, drop the frame in and go from there. Is the center of our roof. So we're up on the roof, I've dropped the frame on, and here is our centre mark of our roof, which we drew from the inside of the brace, and then we've just got our two markers showing us basically where we can draw a straight line from, um, so we can measure off of that and then we can work essentially off of these lines to build out into the frame. So basically now what I'm going to do is measure the distance between this frame, and then we can start drawing off the centre line, working out across exactly where this can be centralised work off the, off the lines and then we're not going to cut this out as one big piece because the roof will be all over the place and we could potentially scrap the roof. So we're going to be doing it in little sections just so we can keep the quality up um, and work out eventually we will have a, a massive hole in the roof where we can drop the frame down and we can build it from there. Okay guys, final test fit. Uh, it's sitting absolutely perfect. So very confident that we're going to be sitting this Absolutely dead straight, dead centralised, really, really happy, measured multiple times, 
And now it's time to do the first cut. time to see if a frame will fit. I've given it a file. It's in and it's sitting perfectly. Wow that brings some much needed light into the cabin. That's gonna make a massive difference. Let's grab the glass. Guys, check it out. It's sitting absolutely perfect. It's going to look wonderful. I've now got to take the glass out, bond the frame. Then when that's dry tomorrow, we'll come back and fit the rest of it up. The thing I did notice is this frame the inner skin, obviously where we separated it, is now loose. It's going to try and make this rattle. So all I've got here is... And all I've done is put a little foam pad under that one and that one. And then when they come pressed together, that should stop any vibrations. Build the middle headliner, and this is just so that I can draw around my template and you see exactly where it needs to be cut. And this is what we've cut out of the roof. We won't be needing this anymore. And the pilot goes. So now the frame is bonding in, it's bonded in, it's clamped up, and we've got to leave overnight now um, so that when we come back tomorrow, we can then put in the lower frame and then bond in the glass and then Trim the headliner and essentially we should be done with our panoramic roof. That's how we're going to leave the Defender overnight. The frame is clamped down to the roof and so we'll stay there and be watertight. Hey guys, so it's the next day and good morning. 
and we have our Defender 110. It cured overnight and it's set absolutely perfectly. Overnight, really, really happy with how it's come out. Um, all the edges, all the sides, it looks like it's come direct from the factory. So really, really happy with how it's come out. Now today's task is gonna be uh, actually well, finishing off the installation first off, but we've got to cut the center out of the headliner, wrap all the headliners in suede, and then we can refit everything, put the trim piece over, rivet it all together, bond it all down, and then we should have our trim piece is going to come out to about here and we'll line the whole of this headlining but I'm happy that it fits and you won't see any of the cutting or the joins obviously we're going to wrap it and then we're going to remount it and then we can rivet the frame so next step is to remove the headliner and wrap it in black suede these headliners you'd want to remove the original headliner um, so this has got like a PVC base. Um, if it's peeling off and it's an old headliner, then absolutely remove it. If it's peeling off, then remove it. This one is in very good condition. And this is a compressed fiber board. If I was to uh, peel off and separate it from the fiber board, the way that Land Rover uh, actually manufactured this is this is a PVC skin and then like a compressed uh, fibers and then it's compressed into a mold at high temperature heat. Now, if I peel off the PVC, what tends to happen is you get um, an uneven area where it rips up the fiber. Um, and then when the sway goes on top of that, yes, you have a better bond, but you see uh, the distortion on the fabric. So we're actually gonna leave this one because it's in such great order um, and we're gonna bond straight to this. So I've degreased it just using some, some brake cleaner. I didn't wanna use thinners because it might actually distort the plastic. Um, so I just wanted to get it clean and degreased, gave it a sweep, sorted it all out and now it's time to actually
guys. So the headliner is wrapped and it's time to turn it over and see what it looks like. Woohoo, yeah. Man, that looks so much better. It looks a thousand times better than factory. Obviously once it's all installed as well and all the parts are on, it'll look 20 times better. Excellent result on this one.
nice. So I've bonded the frame in and oh, oh my God, it looks incredible. It's such a big difference. We've also wrapped all the headliners in suede and they just look wonderful. I mean, imagine before this had PVC plastic and obviously no, no panoramic roof, but a panoramic roof in a Defender. Wow, this is crazy. Let's take a look outside. This is just amazing. I can't believe the difference this has made. It's, it's absolutely incredible. I really, really like it. Really, really happy with it. <laughs> Panoramic roof on a Defender. Who'd have thought this level of luxury would hit? A 70 year old dinosaur. Massively impressed with how it looks. I mean, look at the outside as well. It just looks amazing. It looks like, I mean, if you saw that from a car park, you would never know, and into your defenders, that that didn't come out of the factory like that. And that is just an insane, I, I had so much fun, so, so much fun doing this one. Uh, tomorrow morning I'll come in, I'll fix all the trims, put all the lights up, and then I'll take some final photographs. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll put a short clip on, uh, maybe in between or something like that. <laughs>really hope that you guys enjoyed it um and obviously there's going to be a lot more defender content coming your way so please consider subscribing like and comment tell me what you think um i had a lot of fun doing this one and i'm glad that you guys watched it so um stay tuned and i'll see you on the next one cheers guys